Well, good morning, everybody. It's Leanne Greff with another Facebook Live. Every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Central Time is um, when I do my weekly videos. So I also do one on Monday evenings at 7.30 on the fourth or fifth Monday of the month. We will do a Stamp With Me Live and um, we did a card a couple weeks ago that I'm asking people to post their version of it. And oh, you'd think I'd have it with me, but I don't. So I can't, can't show you which one it is, but follow me on Facebook and you will see my videos that um, show the, actually, I believe it was a pillar card. Yes, it was a double pillar card um, using the pigs, uh, the birthday piglet, piggies. So that's what I did, but anybody can post whatever they want and you'll be in the drawing for a free prize. So let me see, my laptop is just synced up. Good morning, everybody. Hi, I appreciate you tuning in. I, oh, are things backwards? Hmm, I sure thought I had that correct. Let me see if I can switch that while I'm on, yeah. There we go. How's that? Are we are we facing the right way now? You can read read things. Okay. Also, let's get going. Thank you for sharing already, Stacy and Carol. I appreciate that. So let's do door prizes right away. Let's do prize patrol. So last week I had a card kit and a set of gems, blue adhesive back gems for giveaway. And the winners of that, to those prizes, are Joanne Anderson won the card kit and Glenda Lavender won the adhesive back gems. So congratulations, gals. Thank you for sharing and commenting to, um, to get my videos known and out there. If you enjoy them, please help me share and get the word out. I appreciate that. So I'll be sending those to the gals uh, this week. All right, so this week's prizes for commenting is a set of the Heart and Home doilies. And there's three colors. I believe it's evergreen. Uh, oh, what is that? That color retired. It's a brown. And then there's Misty Moonlight. So those three uh, colors of doilies. And then for sharing, I have a set of Petal Pink Stampin' Blends. So this is one of my colors I use a lot. It's great for skin tones and... Um, just a light application of color. So comment and share to win those prizes for next week. Thank you, thank you for sharing, Jean. I appreciate that. All right, okay, so before we get started, I wanna talk a little bit about the starter kit. So the starter kit is on special right now. So right now for $99, you get $155 worth of product of your choice. So it's completely customizable kit. And it's free shipping. You also get a free paper pumpkin kit, free catalogs and business supplies and whatnot to start your business. Or if you don't do a business, just for your own personal enjoyment to enjoy the, um, the discount and the camaraderie of our group and of Stampin' Up. So it's awesome to be um, a member of Stampin' Up. How many of you are demonstrators and enjoying the perks of... Um, being either a hobby or a business demonstrator, it's it's just a fun thing to do. Who I would have never guessed 20 years ago that I'd be doing this and for a living. But so many of my team are just doing it for the fun. So one thing you can do when you uh, purchase the starter kit this month is you can get in on a new product uh, collection that's coming out in November for everyone else. But for demonstrators, we can get it early. So I thought I'd share with you a few of the items that I just got in yesterday. This is the new designer paper. It's called Fitting Florets and it's florals, but it also has a little bit of Christmas in there that you can use. These berries here can be colored red or cherry. Um, so it's not just florals. It's kind of meant to be all occasion. And to go with that, they have these spiral gold gems and they're actually pretty flat. They're not very high at all for some of us who like being, yeah, I love having you on my team too, Candy. <laughs> awesome. Um, okay, then this is a, um, a short time set. This is only available, I believe, November to January. And same with these 
jam. So those two items and the paper are short time uh, I, uh, items that you can buy, products that you can purchase. Um, those are only available for a couple of months, an extra month for us demonstrators. And then there is a bundle. And now this will be available in the next catalog in January. This is called, fr called flamed, <laughs> Framed Florets. And it is actually the dies for the first time ever are called the same thing as the stamp set. So they've been listening to us that we want things to be named the same so we don't get so confused on our on our items. So these have a set of, of ovals and then of course some florals and some of these match like this one matches uh, the on this one yeah, that one and I think this one match in these patterns so you can cut out your designer paper this one matches that one and then yet there are some separate ones too so it's a neat collection but the neat the what I wanted to show I don't always like showing sneak peeks but the fact that you can get this in your starter kit right now in October and get started early yeah you can get those now the um, all the demonstrators can so all right, so that's the starter kit. I hope if you have any questions on that, the discount, um, being a member, the, some people have some specific questions that they'd like to ask. Um, I will likely do a uh, Facebook question and answer uh, live later this month. So that's my plan to do that later this month on anything, not just the starter kit. And one thing about joining right now is if you do purchase the starter kit, your $300 quarterly minimum isn't due until the end of March, which is crazy. So everything you order from now until March counts towards your $300 minimum. So it's, it's yeah, great deal. I do want to share this birthday card collect a uh, birthday card kit. So this I talked about last week and I just got it in and it is a nice eight by 10 uh, thick book with a nice spiral ring. Um, and what it does is you put the, the month's stickers on each and then you write your friends or anniversaries, birthdays. Somebody said this would be a great uh, book for bills too, to, to write your bills and when things are due, but you could do anniversaries and birthdays but it comes also with 12 cards. So this is the envelope and the card, and I made them as is. I didn't embellish these yet, I, I may, because <laughs> it's just fun to do that. And here's the other one. So you get enough for, I think, men and women. Um, so everything is die cut, even the, it's a non-stamping kit, but you get everything from adhesives to the adhesive back sequence to the pre-punched um, or pre-die cut items. For, to make the cards. So 12 cards, the book, and um, everything you need is in here. So you can kind of see the printed pieces, the die cut pieces, the cards, um, $25. And I, I just really suspect this is going to go away fairly fast. I just don't think it's going to last because our popular kits like this do not tend to last very long. So I wanna talk a little bit about a couple more kits that you may not have seen. This one is the Christmas gifting kit and it is tags and I haven't made any of them yet, but it does have die cut windows, nice big tags and a gift card holder. So it's meant for this to go on the back and you add the little twine. Let's see if I can open this up. It has red and green twine, it has the shaded spruce um, ink pad, and then it has stamps that you can add to it. So I haven't made them yet, but as you can see, it has everything you need. This isn't all, they're all, all of these kits are all inclusive kits. So this is called the Christmas Gifting Kit. I'll put the link to all these kits in the description of the video after I upload it. So you'll you'll be able to get there. And the this is the, oh God. Gosh, what's the name of this one? Robot Buddies. Great kids cards. So this one was a really fun one to put together. This also does have the stamp set in it and two inks. So if you're curious and you, you've kind of been curious about Paper Pumpkin, um, it has the little colored eyeballs, two 
inks the robot stamp set, which you can use over and over, and then I think it makes nine cards. So that's the robot buddies kit. Then I'm gonna show a few of them. This is the light the candles, probably my favorite of the kits that are not Christmas because it they're almost like a photo shaker card. They have these die cuts and glitter paper behind them, gems, stamp sets, cards, stamp set, I should say. Um, really nice birthday set. And this one is Coastal Cabana Ink. So these run about $21 to $23, most of them. This is this year's Christmas card kit. And I believe you got nine, I can't remember how many cards. This one's 23, they're all the same, 12, 12 cards. So this is, this is a stamping kit. Yes, it is, it has the stamp set and a block. You get everything, here's the stamp set. So I, you can't really see that, but nice Christmas greetings in that one. And then lastly, I'll show last year's Christmas card kit. And this one was so popular, it sold out almost right away. So many people did not receive it, um, could not order it, I should say. Gold foil envelopes. And this is, hmm, I can't remember if this is a stamping kit. Yes, it is, because it's 19. So you do get a stamp set with it, stars and snowflakes and whatnot. So fun, fun, whimsical kit is this one. This is called Christmas Whimsy. <laughs> I guess I got the whimsical right. So these are all in our kit collection in our online store. It's the only place you can see them is the online store. They're not in any catalogs, just so you know. They are online only. Um, the other special I have going this month is online orders, um, over $50. If you use these host codes, you will get a free embellishment from me. So I'm sending those out to people who have placed an order in October with me. Okay, I think that's it for promotions. A few items, you know, right, the free shipping uh, promotion last Tuesday caused uh, kind of a little backup on things. They have been out of a lot of items. Items. Now, we got quite a few in, which is what I'm using today. We were out of the Leaves of Holly, um, I guess, for almost a month, and it's back. So that's why I decided to feature it today. Um, but the couple things we're out of is the Sweetest Christmas Designer Paper, the Leaf Label and Gems, those pre-cut um, maple leaves, quite a few colors of cardstock, including Basic White. Although I've heard that it's going to be back um, this later this week, I believe. Um, the country wreath dies and the split card texture dies. There's a few other small things like embossing powder and I think some gems. But um, that's the most of what we're going to be out of. So a couple I wanted to share with the Leaves of Holly set. A couple cards. These were in my kit, um, Kits to Go last month. But just to show you the, the paper, the um, Bows of Holly paper, and that is back in stock too. That was out. A couple of these cards that were in my kit, um, kit to go last month. So I may have one left, but I'm not putting it out there. I just want to be sure that all my kit people got their kit before I, I give that one away or sell it. And this one too. So this is one of my favorite dies in the set. And this one was a swap that I made for my team. And you can kind of see I sponged on that and put, there's a, it's kind of harder to explain until I get them out. So this is the die that does that. And this, it works either way. And then there's another one that goes underneath it that can be colored. So in this case, I put Blackberry Bliss under here so you wouldn't see the other colors. But I wanted, I made this card for my team because I wanted to show that it's not just for Christmas. It can be for fall as well. So it's got great leaves and uh, labels and berries. But here I used uh, Bermuda Bay with Blackberry Bliss and a greeting from the Charming Sentiments. So yeah, and I put vellum over it because it felt a little bit busy. So um, I added a little bit of old olive as well, just for another fall color. 
So those are some samples. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make um, five cards at a time with this set. And my inspiration, I'll show you, was um, when I did last month, last year, last fall. And yes, it is available. It was, um, <laughs> yes, Marsha, this is now back in stock, so we can order it. It's back. Um, this, these were cards I made last year with my five at a time template. And so, but basically what you do is you stamp one whole piece of designer, of uh, white cardstock. In this case, you could do any color, but I did white. Then you cut it into pieces. So we start out with, they're both eight and a half by 11 and the small ones, let me get my measurements out here. The smaller white layer are three and a half by four and three quarter. And then the layer on uh, around it is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. So it's a very fine line, but you can see how little you, you don't use on the first one, just those little bits on the edge. On the larger template, if you get almost to the edge here, you do use the full width, and then you have this little bit left over for maybe a die cut or a label. So we're gonna make this set five cards using the Leaves of Holly. So this was, I think, Mary Wishes last year's holiday catalog. Okay, so we, Leaves of Holly, and we're gonna start out with our white, and just a little, oh, I hope I brought my pencil, I bet I didn't. Let's see, I've got another one here. So we're going to basically kind of draw the template on here. So we're gonna do some pencil marks at three and three quarter, and I didn't wanna print on here because I wanna cut. Um, these out, but I'm going to make just some basic lines at three and a half and then from and then f down here, I'm going to go four and three quarter um, Across so I know basically where I'm stamping Because I want to leave room and now down here, I'm going to go at three and a half I'll bring out my template again so you can see what I mean. And then I just erased whatever I didn't stamp on. Some of it, I couldn't even find the marks because they disappeared on my stamping. Oh, that was wrong. This needs to be, hopefully this eraser. I didn't bring my better eraser. Not too bad. No, that was right. Three and a half was right. So you'll, you'll see why, and I'm not gonna do, well, yeah, this one's basically right down to the end here. Okay, so we're done with our erasing. Now we'll get my stamps out and the inks. And we're gonna start with evergreen, my darkest color, and get some of these leaves out. Those are the solid. And these are the outlines. So I like to do the um, outline in the darker color. And I'm gonna start with my largest leaf. Okay, so we're gonna try and stamp along. This is our center line. Let me bring my template back again. Oops, it's backwards. I'll do it this way. Um, so I'm going to stamp along this line up and then along the other lines across. So I have some open areas to stamp on or to yeah, add my greeting to. Okay, so we're going to go here. And I like to start with the darkest one first. And I, I will overlap the stems. In fact, sometimes I don't even... I kind of wipe off that stem so there isn't such a hard line. Let's see, so this one is right here, go like that. So this, yes, I will be sharing a picture of the template again. As soon as I'm done stamping, I will do that. And it will be on my blog and on Facebook. So um, I'll post it in both places. All right, so five of the large leaves. Then I will do the smaller leaves also in the outline. I might as well start right up here again. 
And this is where I try and uh, bring my, uh, let's see, that one's there. I'm going to do it like that. My stems, I kind of want to hide them because I don't like open stems. They kind of just bother me. We'll see with the final stamp what I'm, how I'm going to hide those two. Okay, I think that's pretty good. We can always fill in more. And the nice thing is, is once you cut this apart, you can add more to them. So I'm gonna um, move that ink away. And I, I'm going with pretty classic colors. I wanted, kind of wanted to um, change it up and do non-classic, but then I thought, well, I'm just gonna stick with the classics right now. Okay, so one thing again, what, what I might do is just kind of wipe off that stem. So if it's not perfectly, it doesn't uh, perfectly align, it doesn't stick out. So this is soft succulent and just kind of wipe off that stem. It doesn't matter too much here. So one thing I found when I was making the cards earlier that just don't rush. And I, I tend to rush while I'm on video because I feel like you all are just waiting for the good stuff and not just the stamping. <laughs> yeah, you caught me live, friends. Thank you for joining. Hopefully you'll get some inspiration here. This is uh, Evergr Evening Evergreen, and now I'm stamping in Soft Succulent. This was last, last year's in colors, I think. Okay, there we go. That's those. And now we'll go to the smaller leaf and finish that up. And I'm going to jazz this up with um, berries and then a little foliage from another stamp set. It needed more. Oh, we've got to line this up a lot better. Like I said, if you don't brush, it's much easier to do. Okay, so that's that color. I think that's, oh, no, we are going to use that ink again. All right, now we're going to get to berries. So we're going to go into red, red berries. And there's two berries for this set. There's a solid and an outline right here. So we're going to start with the solid and just start filling in wherever. I'm just trying to decide where to add some berries. And when you're doing this, almost like a, a little one sheet wonder, you do want to twist your um, stamps now and then so they're not all in the same place. Although because we're cutting this apart, it won't matter as much. Okay, that's the red, clean that right away. And then we'll get into the cherry cobbler for the outline. You'll see how pretty this is. It really is beautiful. Okay, so, and yeah, red does stain these photopolymers. Now I have to be a little bit more careful with these because um, this shows if you don't get it right on it's it shows a little bit more and i tend to twist my paper instead of my stamp it's going pretty good so far and then i can erase those lines pretty quickly but i have one two four stamps yet not from this stamp set i i did want to Add, oh, I got a little red there, didn't I? We'll see if I can get rid of that. Sometimes I tend to either get it on my stamp or my finger. Okay, we're going to stop there. Close that up. We'll see if we need to add more berries later. Once we cut the pieces into five pieces, that, um, yeah, that will make a difference. Okay, so now as I brought in the merriest moments, Stamp set because I wanted some dots. 
Oh, there's a bird trying to get in our window. <laughs> and then a foliage uh, piece. My cats are going crazy, sitting right on the outside of the window, and they're trying to get in there. <laughs> Right now is when we have birds that kind of hit our windows a lot because we have some berries and some little apples. And some people say they actually get drunk on the fermented berries and things. So I don't know. I don't know the, the yeah. Oh, awesome. That is so cool that you saved my templates, Deborah. Thank you. I'm glad you get lots of inspiration from me. So anyway, I wanted foliage and I wanted the dots. So Mary's Moments is one of my go-to sets for greetings and some of this foliage. It's awesome. I'm so glad they brought it back. Okay, we'll start with the little pine foliage. And I'm going to fill in. There's some little kind of a mess there that I want to cover up. And this just seems to add to the cards very nicely. That one I don't know what I'm gonna do with. We'll see if I can either cut it off or fix it. And as I do this, I am also trying to keep the stem away from being open. It's just, I'm, not, I'm hiding it. Okay hard to see my lines. I kind of lost them. So I bet the other one, no, it's right there. That gives me a little bit of open room here and quite a bit of open room there. So I think I can add another one there. And I do another one there and another one there. Okay. We'll see how that works out. Now the last thing is that little spatter. That just, and this is in a soft succulent. And I especially like to do it around the greenery and filling in. It just softens it all up a little bit. Isn't it pretty? These colors are just gorgeous together. And the nice thing about these is you can go over even something like the berries and it doesn't really show that you stamp some dots onto those berries. I think I'm done. Okay. All right. Done stamping so far. Now we'll get to cutting. Oh, I'm sorry, did I miss a question? Yes, the leaves of holly are available, yes. Okay, all right. So we will start cutting. All right, so this first, oops, let me put this right side up. I'm gonna move that out of the way. I'll show you the template again in a minute. So this is at three and a half. Trying to think if I want to scoot that over so I can cut. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the four and three quarter cut first. There's the four. So here's three, four and three quarter. I'm going to see if I can cut that off. Okay. All right. Now these will be cut into three and a half inch pieces. And always when you're cutting, look down as you go. Make sure that your paper, it, 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 you always push it up against the, the seat of the paper trimmer. There's one. We could add a little bit more to that. That one's a little bit plain, but we'll see. Here is another one. And here at three and a half is the last one. So there are three pieces ready to go for our cards. Now this should be three and a half. Let's see how much of that gets cut off. Oh, close. Not all of it though. Might have to stamp something there. All right, so four and three quarters. Those are the sizes that we're going for. There's our fourth piece. And here's the fifth. Now other people are doing templates where you stamp on, there's your extra piece that you can use for a greeting or something. 
Um, other people are stamping four cards to a card base. So on their card base, they're simply stamping straight up and straight across, which is fine. But I wanted to do my own thing using my, my five at a time template. For, so here's that template again, in case anybody wants to do a screenshot of that. So here are our pieces. And yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that. I might just sponge the outside edge. That would probably take care of that. Because it's in a place where I cannot um, stamp a greeting. It's right on the, or the edge. So let's just see. I did bring a sponge dauber. Let's just see if I can make that kind of go away and fix it. Well, first, got some pencil marks on here. You want to get rid of your pencil marks. Not too many. Pretty good. Okay. So, how to fix this? Let's test that. You can, uh, the way you hold your sponge dauber can bring it in a little bit. Yeah, I can do that. You can bring it in. So, if I hold it this way, I get a real small edge. You see that? And if I hold it this way, I get a nice wide edge. And because of that boo-boo there, which I'm gonna try and cover up, I'm gonna have to have quite a bit of sponging, but it'll be fine. And I like to do a little extra in the corners, kind of like a picture frame. I'd have to get a little darker. I can see my sponge dauber is leaving, I think it's old, is leaving some extra um, pieces of the sponge. I think it's about ready for the garbage. Who knows how many years old this is. So that works fine. I'm okay with that. Need to get a little bit wider here. Okay. All right. So now let's go to the layers. Okay. So now this, I'm going to turn this over. This is the layer, the larger piece. So this is cherry cobbler. And we're going to make our first cut at four and seven eighths. So here is four, there's four and a half, four and three quarter. I'm sure you probably can't see that. So between four and three quarter and five is four and seven eighths. Between four and three quarter and five. So that's what I'm going for. And I'm looking all the way down to make sure that is correct. Now, we need to cut them at three and five eighths. Okay, so there's three and a half. Just add one eighth right there. So these are our nice, easy layers. So there's three and a half, add one eighth. It's a very fine um, layer to our print or stamped pieces and so little waste on that one. And now this one, if I remember right, this should be four and five eighths. Yep, it is. So now we do, or I mean three and five eighths. Now we do the four and seven eighths. Hopefully I did this right because I did not bring an extra piece of cherry card, cardstock over here. And there's our scrap. Isn't that awesome for your five layers? <laughs> Thanks, Jean. Yeah, yeah, you gotta save those boos, figure out those boo boos. All right, so how easy is this? Now, that sponge brought out quite a bit of little sponge excess. Look at that, how perfect those layers are. So, I'll show you the finished cards. I'm not gonna do these, I wanted you to see how. Um, these can be done. This one I would either turn, I think I'd like it this way. So then you decide which way do you like the cards? Which, which um, direction does it feel like they should be? So you can kind of choose. And here's our little, and this one, I know what I would do. I would add a greeting right here, right here, just because it's a lot of green here, not many berries and kind of of um, jazz that up a little bit. And I might go back in and do something like that. 
and maybe even like that, just to bring more in. This one seems like it needs another berry. What do you think? So you can go in and add more afterwards. You could add another berry or two to these cards. I might do another one here and maybe another one right here. But let's um, get to our card bases. I have a kind of a tip for you. Many of you probably do this and know this, but when you start out with a full card base, um, in this case, so get rid of your cutter, cutting blade and do your scoring blade. I want a tall card, so I'm gonna do a score line at five and a half. Okay, so I'm gonna do these um, tall, tall. I, I don't know how, four and a quarter by 11. So I'm gonna bring this over to four and a quarter. Make sure it's the same all the way down and then cut. So you just created two card bases at the same time. So much easier than um, than doing it one at a time. And I do this whether, oh, that's how you get boo-boos on your cards by having a, a, a ink on your finger. Okay, and then just score them. So even if I just want one card, I always score two, always. It's just, um, just what I do. So then the others are standard five and a half by eight and a half. Oops, this one goes this way. And sometimes if your score line is imperfect, line up your edges and your bone folder will fix that if they are not. And you know that the outdent is the inside, the indent is the outside. Whenever you score, it the scoring breaks up the fibers and so it just folds easier and you don't have a funny edge on your cards. So then with those, I would simply just grab these and place. Now these are very simple cards that you could layer as much as you want to. You can, you can jazz them up as much as you want to. And that's why I had two tall and two wide. And that's pretty much how the template is. When you look at this, you have two tall because we stamped up and kind of in a little bit. And that's why you have usually three horizontal cards and two vertical cards. Okay, so let's show you the finished cards and what they look like. And like I said, I did not jazz these up much at all. They are quick, basic cards. And I did add a couple die cuts to this. Now you could layer and pop up your greetings as much as you want with these cards. It's just you are the builder, as one of my friends like to say. So I did add some festive pearls, which I am close to being out of. There's soft succulent, cherry, silver, and gold. And like this one, I did all silver. This one I did a mix, this one I did all cherry cobbler. I did a mix of colors on the pearls on many of them, but aren't they beautiful and so simple um, to do and uses up your cardstock so well with these templates. So I will be posting these to um, Facebook and my blog this week. I've done it before, but it's time to do it again. Remember the layers though, if you remember, these layers are three and a half by four and three quarter. So on this one, your first cut, it should be at four and three quarter, and then each piece is three and a half. Your second cut is at three and a half wide and four and three quarter. So if you just remember four and three quarter for your first cut and each measurement is that size, you, can, you wouldn't even need my template. So that's the tip. So if anybody wants to take a picture of this while I have it, this was the um, my guide today, so I kind of knew where I wanted to stamp. Um, you can do that if you want to do a screenshot. Yeah, you can, you can, you can print these out. I will be putting these on my blog, and you can print these out. Um, my gals at my retreat this weekend got them in their goodie bag, so. Um, I wanted to kind of showcase how to use this today so they could use that in a nice way um, for some quick cards. All right, I think that is it for um, my share today, although I do have my, uh, my kits to go done for this month, and I thought I'd share. Posted one on my blog today, and it's getting great, great uh, reviews here. 
So I'm using the Lights of Glow designer paper and doing a few fun fold cards. So this one features just a square of that pretty paper. It actually has printed circles in, in four, four at a time on the six by six paper. So those are two cards. And here's another one. So I did a couple fun folds. Remember, you're gonna get a half a pack of designer paper, some ribbon and these festive pearls. They're so pretty. Here's another one. So a, a, a different kind of a fold and everything is cut for you except for your designer paper. You're gonna be doing that on your own. So I give you the, the punch pieces, the die cut pieces. I really like this one, showing the paper and just a zigzag of ribbon. Remember your punches are all done for you. Get two of each card. And I had to do a black card because there's some black paper in here that is so pretty. So the stamp set I used, oh gosh, um, Brightest Glow, I believe, is the name of that stamp set. So that's one kit to go. It's on my tutorial shop right here. If you're interested, you can get the kit. The kit pre-cut kit to go is $28, includes $20 in product, and or you can get just the, the project tutorial. So the other one I did, I decided to have fun with the Memories and More Santa Express. And that is, I'll show you these cards. This is a Memories and More kit. It includes these uh, acetate overlays. There's four of them in there. So you're gonna get enough product to make 10 finished cards. Let me show you some of these other ones. And you get these wooden elements that you can color with your blends markers. Here's another overlay, uh, acetate overlay. And see that holly jolly? Those are tiny, thin, thin little wood elements that I colored with my blends markers. So you get 10 finished cards, 10 envelopes. These have no stamping. You only use a paper cutter and adhesive. You get a share of the red rhinestones as well. Um, and 10 envelopes from the kit. These are the four by six size cards, no. And then I share bonus cards. Thanks, France, I'm glad you like them. So here are some bonus cards. Now these I'm not providing the red card stock for, but you can use your own and um, embellish them. I just give you some ideas on um, how to make more with, you'll have lots of leftovers, believe me on your, um, your die cuts, your wood elements, your rhinestones. So yeah, that those are my two kits this month that you can get in on. I also have more from last month. I have my scrapbook kit. I have um, the oh, texture chic kit left, the card kit to go, of quite a bit. So go here to find um, my tutorials, my glue stands, uh, my kits, all that. That's where you find all of my, my good stuff for sale. Okay, I think that's it. Don't forget to leave a comment and or a share this so you get in on the door prize drawing. And I think that's it for today. I will see you um, next Tuesday if you want to join in with me again next week. All right, thanks so much. I appreciate you all. Okay, bye-bye.